Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we're playing some Psycho, some Krieg, trying to make it work. And now I just had a failed run. Handsome Sorcerer put me down. I had an explosive damage build going. It was going pretty fun. Listen to me right now when I tell you this. I would go. Oh my gosh, explosive damage already. I would I would ditch it all for a fire damage build in a second. Incendiary damage. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Fire damage me. I want to get a fire damage run to work so bad. It's my ultimate. It's fire. Oh man, it could be, it could be torque, a, a big old torque shotgun to start. It's gonna be hard to say no. It's gonna be hard to say no. Homing slag transfusion. Yeah, homing slag transfusion. Okay. More torque. I think we're looking okay, to be honest with you. Is that a torque pistol? No, T door pistol. T door pistol explodes like a grenade when reloaded, though. That could be good. So as far as our options, let's go launcher four, two shotties, bada bing, bada boom, and a homing slag transfusion. And as far as our relic, we're actually gonna go for the explosive one. Oh, we lo we left it in the back. We left it behind us. No bueno. Gotcha. Get over here. What are you doing running away? You're gone. Where are you? Nice. Launch me. And I'm down. Oh, I'm up. <laughs> okay. That's the first white weapon I've seen in forever in this game mode. A couple Hyperion pistols that could be kind of good. This one's... A non-elemental E-Tech? I haven't seen something like that in a long time. Oh, I try it. A Teor? It's in here. Wow, more white weapons. Okay. I did find all the beer bottles on the southern shelf, though, last round. So if we ever go there again, I will be showing you guys exactly where those are at. We're going to drop this, this shock launcher, and we're going to pull out this explosive launcher. I can't believe I left my explosive damage relic in the in the back from the starting zone. Let's take a couple shots with this before we swap. Come on now. Okay, gotta get a kill before it gets me. No, no. Get him. Yes, yeah, full health. Uh, what are we thinking? This bus action rampage is pretty short. Oh gosh. Slag me. Transfusion me. Quick break off to the side. Everyone's getting slagged now. Oh, he rolled that right into it. Oh my goodness. Here we go. This thing has got barely any ammo in it though, right? It's taking I'm picking three shots. So I gotta be extra careful about how I use them. How'd I miss? That's the question. Bad time to use both sides rampage right there. Horrible time. Reload me. This thing does do a lot of damage. Oh, I might die. Like, I might just strip out right here. The more you go down, the faster your fight for your life drains. You can't go down multiple times in succession. I need some reload speed or something. Alright, I could get max health or cooldown rate. Max health. No uh, fire damage, anything. Magazine sides could be really nice with TDR weapons. I need some defense. I think I do enough damage. Let's go for some defense. And max help me. All right, let's toss some slag. I want to get to these red chests down here. It's the only reason I'm going down here. Oh, the borderline symbol? Did we see that? Oh, no, not back here. I thought it might be, but... I'm a tanky boy now. Anything? Not really. All right, after you get out of here. We're still okay on explosive. We just left our relic in the back, but having a max health relic isn't bad either. Come on. 
Come on. Barb Skag gone. Salvating Skag gone. I'm sure there's gonna be Rabbit Skag. There's always Rabbit Skags. So far, no, though. Oof. That little shock damage on the shield's kind of nice, to be honest with you. Um. I mean, we're gonna be. We're kind of all over the place. A Maliwan SMG fire would be really, really good. Yeah, I'm. I'm this build is all up in the open for now. No thanks. Ultimate badass slag. He's not going to take any damage from my slag grenade. Let's do a lob singularity. We're fine. More, more, uh, work shots would go crazy here. A rabbit guy. I don't really want to deal with him. Deal with the ultimate badass instead. We could also use this launcher, to be honest. Yes. Huge. Reload me. Good. And this rabbit guy has also got to go. But we're running out of ammo with our launchers. And that's never something you want to have happen. Okay, they're all gone. So what do we got? Max health and thrill of the kill. What is thrill of the kill? I believe it's this skill. Throw of the kill. A percentage of your overkill damage is returned to you as health. It could be insanely good. Could be insanely good. I, I have I had my melee damage weapon out, so hopefully I, I I do some more melee damage weapon or melee damage here. Two rabbit skags. Yeah, luckily, they don't do that much damage. So well, maybe I can get a kill here before I go down. No, not quite. Swap me. Swap me. There we go. Here we go. The singularities are pulling these guys in. Come on. Oh. Melee. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I mean, I'm starting to think maybe... Slagged enemies take additional damage. I'm, here's what I'm thinking. Hear me out. Once I get an incendiary class mod, like this one, because it gives me more max health, which will help me out, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap to fire. Gonna do it. I'm shameless. Killing enemy increases your effect to cause elemental effects. Self ignite chance plus seven percent. A burn damage increase. Let's do burn damage increased. All damage you receive is reduced while you're on fire. We're going to take that just to start. Um, Max health. Let's take max health. And I know that we probably will want more incendiary damage. But let's just keep the max health. And we have some good SMGs to use. Incendiary fox. There we go. Two decent options. This one has a... This model one has a 12.5% chance to burn. Whereas this doll has a 10.0. Uh, 10 and they're, I think their damages are relatively similar. So we're going to stick with Maliwan. It's, it's just the most effective, probably. And we just need something corrosive as well. Our grenade is obviously going to be our slag transfusion. Very clean. Now, I would love to do like a left and right skill tree build. Incendiary... Resistance. You know what? Let's grab some incendiary resistance. Since we're going to be lighting ourselves on fire. Is that going to be better than max health? Who knows, to be honest. But since I already have max health scaling, I think maybe the extra resistance in other forms will be good. Um, Deal fire damage to melee attackers. Yeah, very good. We're gonna try to. We're in an all corrosive area, so we're gonna try to use other means to get some free kills. And we're not going to be killing the, the super badass. Uh, let's take the adaptive shield to help us against our own. We're gonna help us against ourselves, if you know what I mean. Corrosion, corrosion. Nice. Let's we'll take this corrosion. Three enemies that I can kill. More, more, please. Thank you. The more EXP loaders we get, the better, the easier. 
to be honest. Come on now. Being stuck in this zone, though, is, is how you die. Run. Jump. You next. So easy with these EXP loaders, to be honest. 8.5%. EXP loader and I'm going to bother shooting. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, what is this? What is this guy? A junk loader. A slag and bag him. Where's our grenade? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. We have resistances. Huge. 13. EXP loader is going to give me 14. Big. Okay, that, that door opened up, but I do not want anything to do with this super badass loader. Come on. Large, large, large. Press tab. Let's get our points. Let's see. An elemental status effect. All em elemental status effects you inflict have a chance to light yourself on fire. While elemental status effects are being done to enemies, you gain elemental elation. Fire rate in magazine size increases for a stack of elemental elation. That is really, really good. Mm, increases gun damage for all types except sniper rifles. Increases, decreases critical hit damage with all weapons. Increases melee damage. Hmm. These, this right side seems like if you're trying to go melee, right? Melee, melee, and kill skills can light you on fire. But we can light ourselves on fire easily enough without putting points in the field of fire. So let's take elemental elation. And maybe, just maybe, we can get okay over here. No, 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 no. Let's not mess around. There's a barrel next to me. This guy's one-shotting me. Oh, got out of there alive. Thank God. All right, fleshy enemies, fleshy enemies, fleshy enemies. Thank God. And beer bottles. All right, so first beer bottle. Climb these steps. Look to the right. Beer bottle. Boom. Beer, both, the other two beer battles are over by Boom Boom. So we're going to go get them in a second. Flag me. Oh. We need some slaggy slag. Let myself on fire. We got to kill this guy because he's corrosive. Or he's uh, armored. Red chest secretly hidden down here. Explosive we snooze. Fire damage is our go-to. It's our number one. Being stuck down here, though, it kind of sucks. Slag them. The transfusions are really, really nice for slagging. It's just like they're, they're out on the battlefield longer than other types of grenades. Let's check for the red chest over here. Oh, gosh. A bus action rampage isn't necessarily better than what, we, what we've got else going. To be honest. Slag them. But the slag from the, from the uh, homing slag transfusion grenades is probably the best that you can get. Probably the best you can get. Is that it for over here? I believe it is. Again, we're keeping this corrosion damage just because we're going to need it. Alright, so beer bottle number two coming at you. If you turn around after entering the boss area, it's right there. All right, so we're going to want to go for slag before we start shooting this laddie. Where's my slag? I have no slag in my headphones. There we go. Yes. All right, so he's corroded. He's gone. What do we get? The Rough Rider. Oh, the Rough Rider. Okay. So the Rough Rider is a shield that removes your, sh your shield altogether. Um, but increases your max health and resistance to all damage types 20% So that could be really good for what we're trying to accomplish here Rough Rider is my go-to shield for Krieg um, Melee Krieg at least This guy's gonna light me up Come on Bertha go down We got this lad we definitely got this lad. Yes. More. Oh, we got hit, but again, while we're on fire, we're actually we're not on fire right now, but we, we might be able to get on fire here soon. 
Just went across. Criticals. There we go. Does he is he armored? Yeah, he is. Uh, I kind of I, I kind of want to kill these laddies just to get some grenades back. Honestly. Are there grenades? I hope maybe we can get some grenades from over here. I, I want to slag them. If we can't put a grenade off the ground. We'll give us one grenade. That's all we're gonna need. Hopefully. Transfusion me. Get slag. Get slag. Get slag. Yes. 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 Go for crits. Maybe we can buzz that rampage him while he's slagged. This might be better. Yes, boom. Boom, boom, down. Boom, boom, down. And we have one more beer, bo beer bottle to show you guys where it is at. So follow me. If you run towards the gate where Claptrap uh, tries to tell you to not shoot it when you're in Bi when you're in Big Bertha, you'll find this beer bottle to the back, to the bottom left. Big bottle. Show me the money. The Rough Riders are a really good shield for us. It's going to be hard to replace. Mm, shock, uh, fire, shock, singularity. I like... I like the idea of elemental resistance, though. The fact that we're always ignite chance magazine size, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to actually look at these. Elemental elation and pain is power. We have to look at our skills before we make this decision. Oh, we can't burn damage, ignite chance, burn damage. Hmm. Elemental elation gives us fire rate and magazine size. Mm, five points in pain is power isn't so great. But 10 points in elemental elation is huge. Let's take another point in that. Let's see. Increase the duration of all burn effects on you. Each time you apply a burn effect to an enemy, there's a chance another burn effect will apply after a short time. I, I foresee it being large. Weapon melee damage. I think one point in this is going to be enormous as well. It's just because we get the class mod that gives us plus five. Melee override. Let's do a little bit of breathe fire. What do you say? Increase it because we are getting more melee damage from this skill here. So, all right. Increase the duration of burn effects on you. Each time you apply a burn effect to an enemy, there's a, another chance your burn effect will be applied to you. Yep. Easy. A percentage of elemental satisfaction damage done to enemies also heals you. Okay, we're starting to. It's starting to make a little bit of sense. And we've gotten through some high armor targets already, which is big news. All right. Kill Saturn. Okay, more. This is insane. Uh, How are we going to kill Saturn? Killing Saturn is going to be tough. Come on. Oh, Saturn's gonna kill me. I I can't I can't beat this guy. Where can I how can I get health back? How can I get kills? I mean I know that I could use this corrosive weapon, but right, Saturn drops. He can try to close the gap on me. And I'm taking damage from random sources, man. Heal me up. Where's my transfusion? Like, I'm, I have transfusion grenades. Is it not going to heal me? Is there anywhere to, for me to run? No, there's nowhere for me to run. I got to get out of here. Run. Find some place that has cover. Yeah, I'm almost out of grenades. There's one. Ow, 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 ow. Yes. Okay, we're doing okay. He's, he's at about a quarter HP. Well, he's down about a quarter HP, I mean. Just sit back here. Where's our next place we're running to? I couldn't tell you. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Saturn, please, brother. Please have mercy on me. Never meant to be here. I, d I don't want to mess with you. Ah! Well, if this blocks me, this should block these. Yes, yes. Okay, we found some cover. Keep DPSing. Can we jump? Can we jump up? behind here we can yeah this could be good we just, we just kite this guy 
I might not have an answer for this, to be honest. Elemental Elation, four stacks is helping. He's got no answer. Saturn has no answer. No answer at all. Now that we're let, now that we let it ourselves on fire. Yes. Come on now. 144 ammo left on this Cross of SMG. If we can get through Saturn, like these are high armor targets. We're not gonna throw our our transfusion grenade until we absolutely need to. Use this this structure right here is really good. He's just gonna circle me and he can actually shoot through it with any of his attacks, I'm pretty sure. Almost out of ammo, but we should be able to make it huge. All right, what do we get? The Righteous Infinity? It's good, but we kind of wish we had a different version. Maybe we, re we keep our Malawan Fire SMG, so we keep this one, but we remove we replace our doll. That's a pretty nice launcher. It's better than mine. Anything else? Yes, we do get some uniques. So let's open up some red chests, get some uniques, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, first red chest gets us an E-Tech fire shotgun. We are, are going to the moon. Going to the moon. Let's take care of five points. Anything else? Fire? No. Increase the duration of all burn effects on you. Each time you apply a burn effect to an enemy, there's a chance another burn effect will be applied after a short time. Large. Let's take some heal. Why not? And let's see. While you're on fire, taking damage from enemies will spawn homing balls of fire that seek out the attacker and explode on impact. Fireballs can only trigger once per second. Well, I'm thinking that that could be exactly what we're looking to have happen. All right. Oh, so this weapon doesn't have good range. You see. Oh, okay. Auto gold. Amplified bane. We're not taking a bane. And Miss Maxi's crit. Chance to drop money when damaged. I'm sorry, but... I have a Rough Rider. I don't know what you want from me. Open the laddie up. Oh, the Gub. Perfect replacement. Perfect replacement for our TDR. Huge, huge, huge. So now we do have good damage with Corrosion if we need it. Just large. F2, get me out of here. Saturn down. Did not think I was going to be able to pull that one off, but Saturn down. All right, what do we got? We're going to have some fleshy enemies, I believe, here. Why do I always start Buzzak's Rampage? I can't help it. I just do it. Okay. Gotcha. You see Lab Rat? These guys are tanky. Very tanky. I might die. Okay. He's burning, though. He's going to take a lot of damage from that burn. Nade me. Chuck. I need these transfusions to help me out here. There we go. Elemental Elation stacks. Heal me. Yes. Wow. That's a, I'm doing a lot of deeps. Huge. I play Rat. The question is... Sticky homie transfusion. That could be good. But it's, it's basically the same as my slag one minus the slag. And I, I'd much rather just have the slag. I'm on fire. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hyperion Fire Shotgun could be even better than the one we've got now. Let's take one point in Raving Retribution. And then more heals. One skill point to place. And we take... I, I want to get to increase fire rate while shields are down. Additionally, increase the delay before shields start to recharge. That could be really, really, really nice. But there's also stuff in this tree that I want. Let's go ahead and increase our chance to get the cause of mental effects. That way we can actually get actually get going here and cause like let ourselves on fire and do all that shenanigans. Okay, you guys hit me. You're gonna get you're gonna get hit with balls of fire that fly out and hit you, so watch, let's see if that works. They hit me. Where's my ball of fire? <laughs> oh, just pick... <laughs> that guy's name is hilarious. Uh, ammo regen? I'll take that. I want to get through all these enemies. I've already killed 10, but I want to be able to open up these chests.
Uh, let's see. It's fine. Let's go around and look around while these birds fly around. If they want to fly around all day, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop them. If we have any other skills that are good when our shields are down, we could be going for stuff like that. Hmm. Anything up here? We got a red chest. I see another one over there. I want to go for. That this is a sad, a sad red chest. All right. Open everything up. Alrighty. We can go to the next stage. This E-Tech shoddy is actually going to be pretty nice. Heroes pass. We might be seeing some fire immune enemies with red health bars here. No, I always... <laughs> I always Bozak's Rampage it to start. Maybe I need to just... Spec into the melee. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I have a gub for these lads. Don't do that to me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's talk some slag. We might uh, might have to bag with the gub here. Yeah, especially with an ultimate badass loader. Please, I can out damage this. I can out damage this. Come on now. Elemental elation. Elemental elation. Yes. Yes. Oh, now, oh, now you're all gonna pay. After everything that you all did to me. Every time I tried to go fire build Krieg, you laughed at me. Now I have 20 stacks of elemental elation and you're all gonna pay. Oh, ho, ho, you're all gonna pay. I can just use the gub. I don't even need fire damage. What are you gonna do, buddy? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Rain bonuses for a short time? Chuck me. Just keep chucking. Never stop. Grenade bonuses for a short time. I know my frames are going to go absolutely to, to trash right here, but I do not care. Got to use this yellow bonus while we can. All right, Gub. Oh, the frames are absolutely going. Come on now. You shoot me, I shoot you. Simple as that. Night crit. I've done a 78 rounds though. 66, 60, 58. 37. I need some more slag. I'm gonna get close just in case I need to. Let's pose rampage. Ow. Ow. He's gonna put me down. That's okay. I haven't been downed yet. Let's see. A launcher? Two. Oh, down again. That's not good. Huge. Super badass constructor goes down thanks to our gub and other things. But mostly the gub. I like where we're at. I honestly like where our build's at right now. We have options though. We could light ourselves on fire easier. We could increase our melee damage. Melee attacks have a chance to ignite too. Or, or we could come over here and try to... Do we have anything that helps us when our shields are down? I don't see anything. If that's the case, let's take... Let's take five points in max HP, and that way we can take Embrace the Pain next, because that fire is going to be large for us. Very large. Let's see. Explosive damage? No, thank you. We're on a different track this game. Uh, we have decent ammo. We can We can fight through these enemies. Where is this laddie? Oh, there he is. Give me some homing grenades out there. I think there's an ult ultimate badass. Yeah, there he is. Ultimate badass. I'm getting transfused. I got my gub kicking. Come on, crit me. Yes. Reinforced. Doesn't matter. I don't care how reinforced you are, brother. Picking up more ammo as we go. No more grenades, though. No more grenades. Reload me. Yes. You gotta go. 
Dude, if you just give me the gub, literally just give me the gub, a Rough Rider. I almost feel better against uh, armor targets than I do against fleshy ones. And that's insane to say on Hellborn Creek. Everything must be on fire. <laughs> oh, man. This is... I like this build a ton. Creek is so much fun. Uh, E-Tech Shock. Uh, if, we, if we get Pyro Pete, we'll be happy to have an E-Tech Shock. Do you really want to... Is this really how you want to fight this? Get out of here. All right. It looks like we can F2. Okay, it looks like we got some fleshy targets to shoot at this time. Fleshy target me? Oh, of course, this guy's got a giant shield that's going to... Where did everybody go? There was, like, a ton of people around me. There we go. I'm... Oh, man, I'm not looking so good. There we go, full HP. Knee-high Nomad? That's a really funny name for an enemy. Let's let's be honest here. That's a funny name for an enemy. Oh gosh. What I might end up doing is Oh come on. How come I cannot hit this guy? Dude, I can't hit him. He is insanely elusive. Yes. The shields though. Like I'm not I'm not reviving with a ton of health, and these guys all have shields. I'm surrounded. They all resist. They all resist what I'm what I'm doing. Come on now. You're on fire. Maybe doing a buzz action rampage build where we go on fire all the time. Could be the way to go. Uh I got some increased melee damage. Oh now we torch him. What are you doing over here? Boom. Boom. Uh, we torch this guy. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. Five points to put into whatever we want. And we take increase the fire rate when shields are down. Additionally, your shield, uh, your shields come back, uh, later or they take longer to recharge, but we don't have a shield that takes long. We don't have a shield that recharges. So we'd be rough rider in it. He's burning. See you later. Uh, toss. We're gonna try to go straight through the resistance. The thing about E-Tech is they don't have a lot of base damage. So if someone resists what you're throwing out when you're using E-Tech, then it's gonna be pretty hard to get a kill. Maybe we just go for the Malawan. Easier to get kills with it. Come on now. I know I have 15 out of 15, but uh, there's a red chest here I want to look at. Plus one nade. Oh, no. once you lose that, once you lose that shield, brother, you're gonna get <laughs> burned alive. All right, what do we got? Nothing too too crazy. This E Tech fire could be really good against like maybe a boss or something, but for now I don't see it being like the absolute best for us. More arid nexus badlands, which could be good. Oh, loaders, gub me. Let's go, gub. Elemental elation is gonna be the one kind of carrying us here. Four stacks, seven stacks. The more dots we do, the more we heal. Simple as that. Oh, sheriff's badge, pistol damage, pistol fire rate, fight for your lifetime. Increases fight for lifetime and max health by 50% for every deputy's badge. So what was my... Oh, by the way, we can maybe replace our class mod. Let's see. This one does fuel the fire and... Creation of burn effects on you. Uh, I kind of like elemental elation. Elemental elation points is what we want. Let's see. Pistol damage, pistol fire rates. Or we can go max health. Let's just go pistol damage, pistol fire rate. We need more damage shoot skulls we will be shooting skulls and we already killed bonehead too which is kind of nutty a flint's tinderbox would go crazy here a lot tesla oh, we're full let's go ahead and drop some of our inventory
All right, let's watch this explosion. You guys ready? Boom. Very cool. All right, five points to put into whatever we want. Percentage of overkill damage uh, is returned to me as health. Could be good. Could be good. What if I said no? <laughs> um, adds a stack of salt of wound. We actually do want to get to this damage. Oh, and shotgun damage. Oh, man. Hmm. You know what? Let's go five points into throw of the kill, which turns up the 90% of overkill damage dealt us to, to health. And that way, our next point, we can go to salt the wound. All right, red chest me. And we're all, we also are going to shoot these skulls because we're looking for a really high fire damage pistol. All right, let's find them. Oh, what was that on top of that? No skull. All right, I'll see you guys when I find the first one. You would think for being such a small zone that these would be so easy to find, but I actually have not found any quite yet, but there's also a red chest up there that I haven't found either, so we're still getting locked in. I also found this fire pistol on the ground that I, I didn't have, or that I probably had before, but I forgot about, so I have fair, super fast fire rate with it, so should be pretty good. Okay, for skull number one, you're going to find this giant purple structure that has a little bit of a triangle-shaped roof, and look underneath it, and boom, skull right there. I'll get a better view for you guys. Skull. Boom. All right, there's number one. Let's get number two. Okay, for skull number two, if you look at this house where the chest is, keep looking up. Right there, skull number two. Boom. Okay, so I jumped over this wall and ended up on this side. I'm not too sure if this is where I'm supposed to be or not. We are going to search it for skulls for a bit, and there's also enemies to kill, so let's do that. Go ahead and kill this junk loader. Okay. Another junk loader. We're gonna search this area for for some skulls, but it looks like the it looks like this area is enormous. Like it looks like I might have locked myself out of the actual zone. We're gonna find out here though. Like look how big this zone is now. Elation me. Large. But if if I'm if I keep searching around and I notice that like a lot of it is blocked off. And I'm going to feel more confident that I'm in the right area. Correct. All right, how far does this go? And we're also looking for a skull. Look at, like, look how big this area is. I know, like, this is the Saturn area. I know that I'm not supposed to be over here. And I also know that I'm locked out, so sorry about those skulls. But I do not believe that I, I'm able to get it, at least for now. And we know that we probably shouldn't be jumping over that wall. So let's get out of here. F2 me. Three Horns Valley. We're going pistols. One fire. Oh, Doc Mercy. Let's go. We got this. Oh, that could be nice. Is it? Is it nice? Don't think so. All right, what do we got? Ironclad Lunatic immediately off the rip. Let's go ahead and rinse him down with some corrosion damage. Now some fire damage. Come on. Huge, huge. Please keep up the incendiary damage. We are burning through our ammo kind of quick, but that's okay. Oh, now we got big damage. Does he resist fire? No, he does not. No, he does not. What are you doing, Doc? What are you doing, Doc? You're doing nothing. Literally zero. Dude, get so wrecked. It's like it's so insane how wrecked you just got. Tinderbox me. The incendiary greed. It's a Jacob's pistol. Oh, a magic missile. Oh, a magic missile. So, it's a Jacob's pistol that's fire. It'd be good. I don't get the increased fire rate um, that I do from the other weapon. Because it just fires as, you can, as fast as you can pull the trigger. But it is going to save us some ammo. Which is, which is a big deal. Thanks, Doc Mercy. And we also got a, a Morningstar. Which I do like, but just not, not for right now. Not for right now. Okay. 
five points into anything we want. Let's take a fire sniper, why not? And salt the wound. Taking damage from the enemy while your shield is down, which is all the time, adds stack of salt the wound, increasing melee damage and shotgun damage for each stack accrued. Stacking stacks begin to decay after a short time without taking health damage from enemies. Now, I thought that this gave us damage reduction. And the fact that it doesn't makes me want to respec out of it, to be honest with you, and maybe take magazine size. You know. Yeah, honestly, I thought this gave me damage reduction, and the fact that it doesn't is tough. So let's actually let's F3 and respec our skills. Something I didn't notice before about the Fire Fiend skill is that it gives you more than just melee attacks when you have a chance to ignite enemies. It gives you weapon accuracy and reload speed while you're on fire. Uh, that's pretty cool. So we're actually just gonna, we're gonna max out this tree. Absolutely max it out. And uh, this skill right here is gonna be a really nice one for a thumbnail. You guys are gonna get a little bit of insight into the, the thumbnail operations that we're doing here. Now for our final points, we could go increases, uh, increase fire rate when your shields are down. And in fact, I think we will. Huge. Okay, F2, get me out of here. Now, depending on what boss we get, the, the boss that we get could really affect uh, how we actually, how successfully actually are. We need to increase our pistol. We need to max it out. We, we can't afford, oh, we're doing launcher. Oh no. Grenades, grenades, grenades. I honestly don't think we need any more gear. I don't need any more gear, so I don't need to pull. I don't need to pull from the iridium chest. Michael, give me an E-Tech fire pistol. And let's change up our look. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, meet fire. My Krieg Hellborn Psycho. He's a bit of a beast, not going to lie to you. And Michael gives us a a shock plasma caster, which could be good if we get pyro repeat. Come on, what do we got? Terramorphous, a fleshy enemy that we can just rinse fire bullets into. Very good. Now, we're going to start with our... Again, it might just end up being a... A green fire pistol. It's a bandit. A green fire pistol might end up being our best weapon. It's kind of crazy to think about. All right, Terra, and we also have magic missiles, so we're going to stack up some elemental elation and use it to heal ourselves up. Now, the reason why healing is so, 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 so important is because of an, a, a mechanic called health gate. And health gate, if you're above, I believe, 90% health, you cannot be one shot. I, or and it might actually be 50% health. You cannot be one shot. It takes two hits to kill you. So let's go ahead and, and try to see how much damage we can do. Uh, now we're on fire. Magic missile me get a reload off we have increased reload speed when we're on fire thank you thanks for hitting me i'm not healing a lot to be honest with you you know what the magic missile as much as i love it again we're gonna be swapping it out for a homing July transfusion because if this guy puts me down right here i'm in trouble we got some other enemies to shoot at now Man, I don't have any HP, man. Where is my health? Is it a kill skill? Do I need a kill skill? Thank you. Moment, I'm gonna give it transfusion. Aramorphous spike. I don't know if we can, if we're gonna win this fight. We're not healing as nearly as much as I thought we might. Heals, 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 heals. Thank you. Maybe we can try our our Jacob's pistol, our Jacob's fire pistol. Oh, that could be good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, a rock tentacle. Come on. Yes, big damage. Jacob's fire pistol. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought it would be? Firing as fast as I can. Firing as fast as I can. 20 stacks of elemental elation. Yes, 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 yes. Rough Rider. Jacob's Fire Pistol. Yes! Terramorphous down. Cre Hellborn Krieg. Hellborn Krieg, man. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. 
Let's see if we get any any cool gear here. Uh, home security, the Hellfire. Oh, it isn't a pistol though. If I had maybe an SMG, I mean the Hellfire is like. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The stuff that we're getting, it's kind of insane. Okay, and we hit tab. We get a sponge shield, grants immunity to burn damage. Absolutely not. Or the Gromki Patriot, which is a our voices will not be silenced. Very interesting stuff. All right, let's go ahead and hit F2, get off the stage, and we're not going to be continuing uh, level two for now. When's your waist? Find butt styling. This is a brand new one for me. I see butt styling over there. What is this puzzle? It's just a, it's just a, a random maze. Took a wrong turn. Okay, I understand. Understand? Uh, okay, so uh, this puzzle's harder than it looks, apparently. We go. Do we have to go that way? No, we're good. We find Butt Stallion. Huge difficulty tier two. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. We made Krieg work. We made Hellborn Krieg work. We did it with a Gub to get through the... The Gub was the MVP. It got us through the hardest parts of the run. But th these two pistols came in clutch at the end as well. Alright, thank you much for watching. See ya. Bye.